Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. Normally I am using my 4K video to shoot this stuff, but today I'm shooting it with my cell phone and my earbuds, as you can see I have in my ear. I got an important one for you that I feel is very, very underrated in the world of business. A lot of people are afraid to talk about it, but is there any loyalty in business? That is a very, very important question. And as I lock the door to my office, I'm gonna take a walk with you. And this is something I wanna share because I have struggled with this for a very long time. It's eaten at me. And part of my core values as a business owner is loyalty. Loyalty, uh, uh, trust, and inspiration. Those are three big areas for me that I feel are very, very important and very underutilized in the business world. But today I wanna to really focus in on loyalty in business and understanding that the people that you're helping, that you're sharing your talents with, that you're uh, putting yourself out there for, that you're taking the risk. Wow, that's bright. I'm going to throw my sunglasses on here, so I apologize. But the people that you're taking risks with, that you're pouring into and really helping them grow their business, whether you're doing design, whether you're doing graphics, whether you're doing uh, websites or videos, whatever it is that you're doing, creating content, maybe you're a content writer. How do you get your clients to be loyal to you? Well, I got a harsh reality for you here, and the truth is, is the real kind of loyalty like you have with your family or you have in your friends is non-existent in the business world. What keeps people loyal in the business world is money. People are primarily in business to make money. Not everybody is like you, not everybody is like me. They're not there to build genuine relationships. They're there to feed their families. And when you start putting money in people's pockets and feeding their families, they all of a sudden become very, very, very loyal to you. So if, you, if money is gonna be one of the loyalty factors, how do you know how much money to put into their pockets and, how, and, and what is going to make them loyal? Well, I have experienced different levels of this from people that are making six figures to people that are making seven figures. What I've noticed is you buy their programs that they are selling, that they're pitching. If you have a customer that you wanna work with, the best way to win their loyalty is to make a purchase from them. If they have a $1,000 program and you wanna do business with them and you have a $5,000 program, then buy their program. Check it out, even if you're not gonna use it, maybe you can gift it to somebody. It's all a business write-off anyway. So building loyalty is by showing people that you genuinely care about them and you have an interest and what it is that they have to talk about. So I build loyalty with my clients by actually helping them generate income for their own business. And on top of that, the, the client relationships that I've built, they're not shopping me with other competitors and other people in the marketplace because there's no one that's built a genuine relationship with them like I have. So when you build a genuine relationship and you, you're vulnerable, which is a very key, transparency and vulnerability is very, very key when it comes to building real relationships. And so I tell them up front what they should expect, what they can't expect from me, what I'm willing to do, and what I'm not willing to do. And because of my truth, my transparency, and my authenticity, I have people that have been with me for years. So that is a really big deal. If you want people to be loyal to you, then be honest. Honesty is the best policy. <clears throat> so, So one of the ways that I've built a lot of loyalty with the people that I'm trying to work with is by helping them without expecting anything in return. I'll tell you a quick story. Recently, uh, I've been pushing to get on stage and, and become a public speaker uh, all over the country and hopefully all over the world. And I saw a guy that came across my Facebook page who sent me a friend request and he was part of the cannabis space. Now cannabis space is a highly... Uh, polarizing area in the business world right now. And there are tons of people talking about cannabis, talking about CBD, and this guy has created uh, an award ceremony that uh, highlights cannabis companies across the country and across the world, and it's gonna be a worldwide organization. Well, I happen to have a lot of connections in that space, I know a lot of people in that space, and so in order to build loyalty with that guy and for him to actually be an advocate for me without expecting anything in return, I'm introducing to him to two of the biggest CBD companies in the country that both have the opportunity and the bandwidth to support this guy and support his event, support his vision, support his dream. So by doing that, I know that if one of the two of those guys jumps on board and supports him, guys or gals jumps on board and supports him, 
that he will support me in my venture of getting on stage and speaking. Now this is a really big opportunity because I'm going to be speaking in France if this all pans out. So loyalty is all about helping people, providing value to people's life and paying them. You have to pay for the loyalty in business unfortunately. As soon as you cost somebody money or as soon as you take money out of somebody's pocket, you're immediately going to lose their loyalty. They're going to go off and find somebody who will who will have their best interest and their money at mind at the top of their mind. So that's just a few pieces of advice I have for you today is you just need to remember that there is no loyalty in business other than money and continuing to provide value to people. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless you all. Keep looking up.